Okay. I'm going to punch my southern card. Uh, this next video is from a young lady. I think she works at BuzzFeed. That's actually from Georgia. And these are a bunch of southern sayings. So I'm going to kind of play with her. And I'm going to see how many of these I can get right. And hopefully at the end of it, I still get to keep my southern card. Hang on. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. In today's video, I'm going to test my knowledge of Southern expressions. I was born and raised in Macon, Georgia. I'm from a very Southern family. Uh, we've been in Georgia for generations, so obviously I grew up hearing a lot of Southern slang terms, expressions, and phrases. I say things today that people are like, what are you talking about? So I'm gonna take this quiz online. I have not looked at all the questions yet, so this is gonna be like genuine first reaction to see just, just how Southern I really am. I mean, I feel pretty confident, but you never know. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. The first word presented, catawampus. I'm okay. Cattywampus, we've, we've already established this. It means that it's not straight or it's crooked. It ain't right. I know what that means. Here are the choices given to me. One, a mythical cat-like creature that lives in the swamps. No. no. Two, something that is crooked. Yes. yes. That is the answer. The other two choices, someone who is being an a-hole of a JJ. Now, no. like I told you, the answer is something that's crooked. Yep. I don't ever really say catawampus. I say wampa jaw. Same thing. It's crooked. So like if you hung a picture up on the wall and it was crooked, I'd say, oh, fix that. That's wampy jaw. There. See, I got it right. Green. Next one. Gussied up. Okay, so gussied up means that you're making yourself pretty, right? Like you, you're doing special, um, more special than Sunday, right? Like you're getting ready to go out on a date. So you're getting yourself, what y'all gussied up for? Right? That's what that means. Here's the choices. Beating someone up. No. Feeling flattered after a compliment. Acting like my Uncle Gus. Dressing something or someone up. Ding, the ding, ding. One. The last one. Yes. Dressing something or someone up. Mm -hmm. Means you're getting all fancy. Like, I'm going on a date. I gotta get all gussied up and look pretty. That's what it is. See, I told y'all. I know my words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next phrase. A bell clapper and a goose's ass. Okay. I have never heard this this term. <laughs> I've never heard this term, so I'm gonna go with the uh, with the multiple choice, and we'll see. I'm gonna guess. Here's the choices: a sex position that we really can't describe here. No. Something that's very fast, making a lot of loud noise, a bout of explosive. I'm gonna say number three. I don't know if I've ever heard this before, but I'm just, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I think it's making a lot of loud noise, right? Because one, geese are loud by themselves, mm -hmm. and if they've got a bell clapper in their butt, yep. I think that's even louder. Yep. So that's what I'm gonna choose. <gasps> and I got it wrong! <gasps> oh, I did too, girl. I don't feel as bad, Misery Loves Company. But really? Something that's very fast? What's a bell clapper? Okay. The answer was something that's very fast. All right then, I see I learned, I learned something new. What did y'all guess? Cause I didn't get that Same right. thing. Next one, tearing up Jake. Choice number Tearing up Jake. Okay, I've never heard this term. Number one, doing hard labor. Number two, performing yard work. Number three, making a lot of noise. And number four, taking the lead in a competition. Okay, I don't know this one either. Tearing up Jake. Tearing up Jake. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Oh Lord, Jesus help me. I'm gonna say it's number one, doing hard labor. Tearing up Jake. I never heard this one before either. I'm gonna say mm, doing hard labor. What y'all think? Nope. This one was making a lot of Okay, again, she's born and bred from Georgia, so I don't feel so bad. Noise. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting that right. Maybe I'm not Southern after all. What mm -hmm. am I? Okay, here's, here's another one. High on the hog. 
high on the hog, I do know what this one means. I think I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. Living a luxurious lifestyle. Speaking from a place of authority. Being stoned out of your mind. The feeling after eating a huge meal. If you're living high if you live in high on the hog, it's you live in a luxurious lifestyle. It's number one. You live in high on the hog, meaning you, you above everybody else. High on the hog, you live in a luxurious lifestyle. That's right. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. I got that one right. Ooh, I'm like MJ. <laughs> 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 moving on, oh. moving on. Here's the next word. Cooter Brown. I think I know this one. Choice one, picking your nose in public. Choice two, another sex position I'll get fired if I get scribed here. What? Talking trash behind people's backs or being very, very drunk. I think it's... I'm going to say it's number four, and the reason I'm going to say this is because usually the phrase is, good Lord, he's drunker than Cooter Brown. So that's what I'm going to go with. I don't know who Cooter Brown is. And I don't know if he was a drunkard, but that is the saying from where I come from. He's drunker and cooter brown. It's the drunk one. I've heard this before, but I don't remember what it means. But I have heard this one before. It's being very, very drunk. I got it right. See? Yeah. I am Southern. Yes. Here's another one. <laughs> Me he too. it just jerk a knot in your tail. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what this one means too. Choice one, having to take a week. I'm no. not going to say the word they wrote because I think it's an ugly word. I don't like that word. But anyways, choice two, tying a ponytail before getting to work. Choice three, kicking someone's a -double -S. Choice four, playing with yourself. Okay, no, it is number three. I'm fixing a jerk, a jerk a knot. Actually, we would say I'm fixing a jerk a knot in your ass, not in your tail. Uh, that means you're fixing your whooping. Yeah. Um, is it having to take a wee? Nope. Means to kick someone's butt. Girl. There you go. I didn't know that one either. You should have. I'm not doing so well. It's okay. Should have picked a different quiz. It's okay. Get on the stick. Choi okay. Mm. Choice one, getting completely wasted off hard liquor. Two, drive a motor vehicle. Three, insult somebody. Four, get to work on something. Get Get on the stick. I'm going to say it's getting to work on something. You need to get on the stick. Let's get, yeah, that's right. Get on the stick. Get on the stick. You move it. You need to get to work on something. That's which. That's the one it is. Get on the stick. Getting to work on something? I don't know this one either. Have y'all heard these? I have. That was the right answer. I guess that's just a good guess, but I had never heard of that before. Moving on. Clod hopper. This is a cute word. Choice one, a police officer. Two, moving from town to town. Three, a nickname for crickets. Four, someone who is super clumsy. Someone who is super clumsy. He's a clod hopper. Um, a clod hopper. That's a police officer, right? Nope, it's someone that's super clumsy. I am so winning. I am too ahead of this young lady. You're still Southern, baby. It's okay. Moving on, as I continue to fail. Goobers. I know what goobers. Everybody knows what goobers mean, but go on ahead. One, a freshly picked booger. Two, another name for peanuts. No. Three, annoying toddler. Four, a name for her she kisses. Mm -mm. Okay, no, it's an annoying toddler because all little youngins are a bunch of goobers. You bunch of goobers. That's what it. That's what it means. Silly nonsense. Bunch of goobers. It's a name for peanuts. Yep. No. I got it. <gasps> no. We call toddlers goobers around here, but okay. She's from Georgia and they do peanuts in Georgia. All right, so I'm one down. No, I'm still one ahead of her. So my Southern card's a little little more stamped than hers, but we still refer to youngins as goobers. Moving on. <coughs> my neighbor just sneezed and I heard it. That's how thin my walls are. Wow. Next word, hunky-dory. Know what hunky dory is? Emo's hot older sister, an incredibly sexy English chap. <laughs> Fish sticks that are especially tasty. Everything is a okay. It, it means everything is a okay. We've we've done hunky dory before. Means everything is a okay. Ta da! And that was the last question. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look. So look it. I won. Because I was one ahead of her. Now, the sad part of this is, unfortunately, I was not actually born in the southern states. Now, look at y'all. I don't want to hear it. Don't go after me. It isn't my fault. I can't help where I was born. I got here just as quick as I could, okay? But my family 
is all tied into the South. Uh, my papa was originally um, from Virginia, and I'm pretty sure that I have Confederate roots. I'm just saying. Um, I was born out West. I left there and spent most of my life in the Southern states, hence my Southern accent that you know, sometimes isn't all that bad and other times it is. It just depends on who I'm around and whether or not there's alcohol involved. Um, but I don't fully stamp my Southern card. Y'all, I'm as, I'm more Southern apparently than a girl that was born in Georgia and has generations of Georgians. But let's listen to the end of the video because gosh dang it, she's cute. I got seven out of 11 right, meaning I am a Southern slang extraordinaire. Mm. Good for you. Mm. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Well, there you have it. I am a Southern slang extraordinaire. If you have certain words and phrases unique to where you live or where you're from, whether it be somewhere else in the U.S. or another country, mm -hmm. leave it down in the underpants below. I love learning new words and things that are specific to just one area. I think it's really cool. It's what makes us unique, right? Yep. If you recognize any of these phrases that I had to guess the meaning of, let me know how how well you did. Did you take the quiz with me? I let did me take know. It with I love you. love seeing y'all's comments. And I was one ahead. Now the dogs next door barking. All right. Okay. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. You're I really welcome. do appreciate it. I'm having a blast making these videos. Like always, check back next Wednesday for another video. I'll see you then. Bye. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was really fun. And I won. Sister, I got eight out of 11. So it's okay. It's okay. We still love you. We're not going to unstamp you Southern card. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. So y'all let me know, just like she said, you know, if you've got some other Southern slangs or sayings that I don't know about, put them in the comments below and we can talk about them in another video. This was just my reaction um, to her video, which was adorable, by the way, and I loved it. I might have to look her up and see what else she's got. She's adorable. But uh, yeah, so comment down below. Y'all like and subscribe. You know the rules. Tell me what you're thinking about, uh, you know, these reactionary type videos. I know a lot of them are on Southern stuff, but that seems to be what's popular because, you know, we're the shignicity. Is that a word? Is that a word? No? Okay, anyway. We're the bee's knees. We truly are. And, and, and we like it that way. So, thanks for coming. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming to my channel. Love you, bye!